You alright everyone, it's Ace here from Romany Custom Catapults. So I've got a, a very nice build here to show you today. One that I've built for myself. Now this build has been a long time in the making. Uh, I originally made myself one at 73 mil. Go away dog. Dog, I've got cream bottoms on. Don't jump on me. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I made an original one at 73 mil. It was too narrow, shot well in the cold, but in the warm it was too high, so this is 76mm. Now I built the 5 layer back core ages ago, but the materials on the front had a massive delay. They came from abroad and they got, never got delivered, they got sent back. Oh, it was a nightmare or two to this coronavirus thing. Anyway, I'll run you through the build. First of all, it's right hand hold, modified juvenile for me. The backbone of the build is made from three layers of carbon fiber three mil and two layers of half a mil brass i hate doing brass liners for the simple reason when you go to drill here you use a brand new drill bit it blunt it goes blunt for the first layer of carbon then it's forcing its way through the brass it delaminates so i have to use about six brand new drill bits just to drill the holes for here it, it really is a nightmare and it doesn't make it any easier that i've done brass inlays on the tips to uh, add a little bit of weight in the fork tips which reduces recoil uh, and I think it gives the impression of a lighter draw weight because you're anchoring off a bit heavier thing one little thing I'm, I don't need to mention this on the video but I'm gonna mention it because it's annoyed me now I'm very happy with this build all by that little bit there and what I believe that is is a tiny little dent I've put in with a drill to help bondage and obviously when I've shaped back I've hit it the amount of times I've been victim of my own build quality it is a joke, it pisses me off. But nevertheless, it's there, it's no big deal, nobody really knows it but me. So yeah, that's the backbone of the build, we'll talk about this in a minute. On the front, we have got white turquoise gemstone. Now this material I've used once before in black, it is, it's expensive, you don't get much of it. And it can be a bit fiddly to work with. It kind of broke away a tiny bit here but it didn't make much difference to me because I was shaping in there anyway. So I kind of got away a bit lucky, but if you notice, I've not drilled all the way through with pins because I didn't want to risk. I did it before on a previous one, and I believe I got away lucky because it made some tiny little fracture marks that sanded out, but just as easy as I'd done that, I could have drilled through this and it could have broke away. So, And also, it keeps the pattern all nice and smooth. It's supposed to be a 70% mineral material, so it's not got much resin with it. It comes up lovely, though. And then this here and here is Raindrop Carbon, the brass version. Very, very nice. Again, gave me some trouble on the, on the corner here because it's layered. You can push the layers off. Uh, yes, yeah, fragile to work with. Another nightmare. This, this frame has chucked me a few curveballs. Nothing I haven't got round, but it has chucked its fair share. No lanyard hole. I don't really use them, to be honest. But... I'm extremely happy with this. I use titanium bolts in there as well, gold titanium, which are sent for from China, as we do. They took a long time to get here as well. But I just think it's really nice. I, the vision I had for this build was almost like a jewellery kind of Persian, ancient Persian kind of look. Whether I've nailed that or not, I don't know. I'm very happy with it. Now, in here, we've got Stingray inlay, or uh, rhymes, genuine Stingray leather. Now, I thought about loads of different ways of inlaying this Stingray into this frame, and a lot of them were 50-50 whether I'd be able to execute it really well. And on this build, I didn't just want to execute it, I wanted to execute it perfect, you know what I mean? And it wasn't like I've inlaying a badge where I've got a circle badge all ready to go in. I'd have had to cut a shape in here and then cut the same shape in the Stingray. And this Stingray is very hard to cut, it's almost plasticky. Uh, so yeah, I thought to myself, it's not worth taking the risk of messing it up. So I went with this kind of a bit more simple effect, but it looks really, really good. I'm going to be using Stingray, uh, I wouldn't say a lot in the future, because it's going to be expensive for me to put it in, but I do have it in various colours, and I will be using it on request and offering it. I think it looks stunning, to be honest. Something really different, I've not seen it on a catapult before. Be interesting to see your thoughts on this. I mean, the last one I built for myself, I loved just as much, but it was more of a solid looking build. This is more of a jewellery style. 
I just need to shoot it now and see if it's any good, see if the 76 suits me. I know 79 is too wide. You see, my idea is to aim off of the corner using the corner optic. Previously, I've always been shooting further down. On 79mm, I was referencing further down. I had to put the bands in also. Uh, 73 was no good. I'm hoping I can put the bands right on the corner and I'll be aiming off the corner. That is what I'm looking for without having to set the bands inwards as I was doing before. So yeah, all being well, I'll be putting the bands right on the edges, giving it a go, and I should be right on that green optic. If I'm not, I'll put the bands in slightly. I don't see me trying to build another one after this, because it's a lot of time and effort, and I'm busy with orders. So, But yeah, I'm over the moon with it. I think I'm going to buy a Peli case for it, uh, just to put it in, or some form of case, most probably, with some spares and banner sets in it and whatnot. But yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. All this nice shiny brass is all going to go dull. That's the trouble with brass. This is really fits in my hand. Look, there's nowhere else I can hold this frame. That's why I've modified the, the design to fit me. There's no other way I can hold it. It's just, that's it, straight in. It's as snug as I could ever get. It's quite a small catapult, to be fair. Let you have another look. Trying to see if you can see the lines down the side of that, because all wavy the pattern. There you go. See all the waves? You see the brass waving around in it. Looks really cool. And obviously I'll put two spacers on the top as well there or see the wave? How cool is that? that. Great materials. Expensive catapult, probably the most expensive Raptor I've built. I mean, it's expensive for several reasons. One is because I've used brass liners, that ups the price. The inlays up the price at the top. These two materials up the price, and obviously the Stingray inlay ups the price. Something different, though, isn't it, lads? I hope you all like it. I certainly do. Cheers all and thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Enjoy your day.